I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. So in the today's session, we are going to start the new beat, that is the drug interaction. We are going to discuss the herb drug interactions and herb food interaction. I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. We have started the chapter, the herb drug interactions. In the today's session, we are going to discuss the drug ginkgo biloba. So let us move towards the drug ginkgo biloba. So the ginkgo, it is a large tree with a fan-shaped leaf. See the image. So here I have shown the branch of ginkgo biloba. So it is a large tree with a fan-shaped leaf. The leaves are commonly included in the supplements and taken by the mouth for memory problem. It is being used for the memory problem. That is to enhance the memory and it is a native to china it is native to china the synonyms for the ginkgo biloba that is a ginkgo then made in hair tree so these are the synonyms for the ginkgo biloba or ginkgo biological source of the ginkgo so it consists of the leaves which is being obtained from the tree ginkgo biloba belongs to family ginkgo acid ginkgo acid right so whatever the leaves are there, which is being obtained from the ginkgo biloba belonging to family ginkgo acid, right? So this is the biological source of ginkgo. So let us move towards the chemical constituents which are present in the ginkgo biloba. So mainly it comprises the diterpene lactones, flavonoids, and these two chemical constituents possesses the therapeutic activity. See the use, it is being used to enhance the memory, isn't it? So maybe the, some of the products which are being promoted as a, uh, from the ginkgo biloba as a memory enhancer. There are five diterpene lactones are present like uh, ginkgo lights A, B, C, J and M. So diterpene lactones are present in the ginkgo biloba. It is being said to be the ginkgo lights A, B, C, J, M. So these compounds are platelet activating factor antagonists. That is a PAF antagonist. All these diterpene lactones which are going to act as the antagonist of the platelet activating factor. Then furthermore, it comprises the sesquiterpene bilobalide, which don't have the platelet activating factor antagonistic activity. Apart from these, it comprises the 40 flavonoid, flavonoids, including the glycosides of the camperol, quercetin, and isorhamantine derivative. Furthermore, tree also synthesizes the number of biflavonoids based on the amento flavones. So these are the some of the chemical constituents which are present in the leaves of the ginkgo biloba. Let us move towards the uses of ginkgo biloba. So it is a potent antioxidant. So it is going to reduce the stress which is being induced by the certain chronic diseases like diabetes, CVS, cancer, and so on. Furthermore, it is going to act as an anti-inflammatory in the cases of arthritis, irritable bowel diseases, cancer, heart disease, and stroke. It is being used as a anti asthmatic and bronchodilator. So it might have the great role in the management of the asthma. It is going to improve the symptoms of loss of short term memory. So it is being used as a memory enhancer, then hearing and concentration. It reduces the symptoms of the psychiatric disorders and dementia, right? Furthermore, it helps to improve the circulation by dilating the blood vessel and reducing the stickiness of the platelet. So it is going to act as a antiplatelet. It supports the vision and eye health. Then it treats the headache and migraines. It treats the sexual dysfunction. In all, it is going to reduce the anxiety. It is going to be used in the Alzheimer disease, hearing loss, premenstrual syndrome. Then the schizophrenia it is going to act as antidepressant and it is going to be used in the management of stroke and the dizziness. So these are the some of the health benefits and uses of the ginkgo biloba. If you can consider the side effects, no doubt it is having a 
great role or you can say the so many uses of ginkgo biloba but it shows the certain side effects like uh, headache dizziness heart palpitation upset of stomach constipation allergic skin reactions then increase in the force of heart heartbeat and the allergic skin reaction and high doses of leaf extract may increase the risk of liver and thyroid cancer if you can see the side effects of the ginkgo biloba if we are consuming the ginkgo biloba products in a high quantity that may leads to the risk of liver cancer and the thyroid cancer so one should keep in mind the side effects of the ginkgo biloba maybe we are getting the allergic reaction headache is there dizziness is there heart palpitation then uh, it is going to increase the force of heart beat then we are getting the allergic skin reaction so these are the some of the side effects of the ginkgo biloba moving towards the dose of the ginkgo biloba you can see that it is going to be used in the doses of 62 40 mg by mouth daily for up to 6 months for specific condition moving towards the precautions and warning for the ginkgo biloba the very first precaution and warning it should be avoided in the pregnancy and breastfeeding in the case of pregnancy there might be chances of early labor or the extra bleeding so one should avoid the ginkgo biloba in the pregnancy furthermore we don't have the enough information in the breastfeeding so so it should be avoided in the breastfeeding in the case of children if the children are consuming the ginkgo biloba product there might be chances of seizures or or might be the death of the patient then bleeding disorders so it should be avoided in the bleeding disorders there might be chances of the condition is going to be rosen then the cross reactivity if the people so patient who are allergic to poison ivy then poison oak poison sumac mango reed or the cashew shell oil might also allergic to ginkgo so one should uh, should not take the ginkgo if you are allergic then in the case of diabetes so ginkgo might interfere the management of the blood sugar levels so one should not take the ginkgo products if he or she suffers from the diabetes then seizures if the patient is having a seizure who is on a medication of the certain anti epileptic as you know that it is having a tendency to produce the seizure so one should avoid taking the taking of ginkgo products or the ginkgo in the case of a deficiency of the enzyme g6pd that is glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase ginkgo might cause severe anemia in a people who have g6pd enzyme deficiency so one should not take the ginkgo product if the person is suffering from the g6pd deficiency that may lead to the anemia then infertility so ginkgo product might interfere with the getting pregnant so there one should should avoid the ginkgo product then surgery the ginkgo might slow the blood clotting and and that may leads to the bleeding so one should not take the ginkgo product before 2 weeks of the scheduled surgery right there might be chances of bleeding so this is about the precautions and the warning related with the ginkgo biloba let us move towards the drug interactions related with the ginkgo biloba let us see the drug interaction so here the very first drug interaction related with the ginkgo and the ibuprofen so ibuprofen it is a drug it is having a ability to slow the blood clotting the ginkgo also it is a it is having a ability to slow the blood clotting if we are taking the ginkgo or combining the ginkgo product along with the ibuprofen there might be chances of the bruising and the bleeding so one should not combine the ginkgo product with the ibuprofen from the same category there are some certain other drugs are there it should not be combined with the ginkgo products like aspirin diclofenac heparin and the warfarin isn't it so that might increase the risk of bleeding so this is the first drug interaction 
the second drug interaction that is related with the alprazolam so when we are taking the ginkgo go along with the alprazolam might decrease the effect of alprazolam right furthermore it it decreases the effect of anti hiv drug ifavirenz there is no enough information is available related with how it is going to decrease the effect of alprazolam or the ifavirenz the next type of drug interaction related with the ginkgo that is the enzyme inhibition so ginkgo it is going to act as a enzyme inhibitor for certain drugs like a uh, respiridone clozapine cyclobenzaprine and uh, theophylline so thereby ginkgo may inhibit the metabolism of these drugs by inhibiting the enzymes which are responsible for the metabolism of respiridone clozapine cyclobenzaprine and theophylline thereby it increases the plasma concentration of these drugs so furthermore the pharmacological effects as well as the side effects are going to be increased right so this is about the enzyme inhibition then enzyme induction also ginkgo it is going to certain enzymes it is going to induce certain enzymes which are responsible for the metabolism of drug and its plasma concentration it is going to be decreased so ginkgo might increase how fast the liver breaks down the omeprazole so taking the ginkgo with the omeprazole might decrease its effect of omeprazole because its metabolism is going to be increased and furthermore furthermore by increasing the metabolism the effect of drugs like uh, citalopram phenytoin and warfarin it is going to be decreased right so in the case of phenytoin there might be chances of precipitation of seizures right so this is a case with the enzyme induction let us see the remaining drug interactions related with the ginkgo biloba so ginkgo might increase the blood sugar level isn't it so taking a ginkgo along with the diabetic medication might reduce the effect of these medication so effect of anti diabetic drugs are going to be reduced the ginkgo is having a ability to increase the blood sugar level as you know that the ginkgo may increase the risk of seizures isn't it so therefore taking a ginkgo may decrease the effect of medications used to prevent the seizures like a anti epileptic drugs for example carbamazepine phenytoin valproic acid phenobarbital lamotrigine so these are the some of the drugs which are being used as a anti epileptic isn't it when we are combining the ginkgo biloba along with these anti epileptics the effect of anti epileptic drugs are going to be reduced because of ginkgo might promote the seizure so the ginkgo might increase the effect of trazodone so taking a trazodone trazodone it is a anti depressant along with the ginkgo might cause serious side effects in the brain so trazodone it is a anti depressant so ginkgo may increase the effect of anti depressant drug like trazodone the next drug interaction it is related with the nifedipine so taking a ginkgo with the nifedipine by mouth increases the nifedipine levels in the body and this might cause increase the side effects of nifedipine including the headache dizziness and hot flushes so ginkgo may increase the levels of nifedipine and that might leads to increase in the pharmacological actions of nifedipine as well as the side effects of the nifedipine for example headache dizziness and the hot flushes furthermore taking a ginkgo with the hydrochlorothiazide cause increase in a blood pressure underlying the mechanism is unknown but it is going to increase the maybe the effectiveness of the hydrochlorothiazide it is going to be suppressed so thereby there is a increase in the blood pressure so taking a ginkgo leaf extract multiple times per day might increase the levels of uh, talinolol it is a beta blocker so this might increase the effect and side effects of the talinolol so all these are the 
drug interactions, significant drug interactions with the ginkgo biloba. So in this session, we have discussed the synonym of ginkgo biloba, then biological source, chemical constituents, use as side effects, and the drug interactions of the ginkgo biloba. So these are the certain references which I have referred to prepare the slides. Thank you. Thank you very much.